Hey guys, I'm back with another technology video. So this one is about me handy dandy Chromebook. Ooh, there's an update. Yeah, let's uh, update this. Yeah, I'll do it later. So the subject of today's video, as I'm sure a few of you may remember, uh, quite a while back, I took this very Chromebook and I tried to install different Linux distros on it, a different Linux operating system than Chrome OS, which I believe is based off of uh, the, a Linux kernel to begin with, but I tried everything. I had to put it in developer mode, I had to take it apart, uh, and even then I couldn't get Mint to work on it, CentOS, uh, even Gallium because of something weird with the processor and a specific one or what have you. Anyway, it was a huge mess. And what I ended up having to do was I had to install, well, I had to put Crouton on this one and then install Linux Unity on top of Crouton so that I could log into Chrome and then I could boot into Linux Unity just to use apps like Kden Live, Blender, and OBS. If you want more details about that, you can visit the video. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. But what I'm excited about today is they've now, and it's still in beta, it's very much in beta, but they've now put a beta Linux, I don't want to say a full, it's not a full OS, but it, it's kind of like a Linux, a Debian virtual machine on Chromebook, which is awesome. As you can see here, let me get there, there we go. There is a command prompt, which might take some time to load. And then you can enter in your commands just like you could on say a Raspberry Pi or uh, any other uh, Linux computer that you might use the command prompt on. It is based off of the Debian kernel, which I like because I have a little more experience with Debian. If I'm not mistaken, I think Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi program is based off of a Debian kernel, which is nice. Ah, here it is. Okay, and then you can just type all your stuff in there. I won't go into that, but I really like that. And now I've gone through and I've put a few programs on here like uh, Blender, I put Kden Live, and I put OBS. Now, some of you may be asking, well, if he has OBS on his computer, why didn't he just screen capture and show us this on the computer? Good question. Because none of these programs work yet, but they are working on it, and from what I understand, there will be support for more and more things as time goes, because, you know, that's how computers work, and developers. So it doesn't work as of yet to have a full fat Linux distro that you can just boot right into or what have you, but it is still, stale? But it is still miles better than how it used to be. The thing that I've always liked about Chromebooks is the fact that they were running, or that you didn't have to pay the extra money for Windows. And to be honest, if most of the computers that I've bought in my life have didn't come with Windows already, I would be completely happy just running Mint or CentOS. And it, it, it is really nice that they were able, or that you were able to, on some of them, boot into a different Linux distro like Ubuntu, or I don't know of many of them that can do Mint, but Gallium and things like that. Uh, Crouton, which those of you that watched my other video know my feelings about Crouton. But it's finally starting to where you can have an open oper, or it's, it's finally getting to the point where you can have an open operating system on your device and you don't have to pay a thousand dollars for it. I mean, you know, if this, if the beta does go well and it keeps moving in the right direction and you can have a full fat, I do have an update. And you can have a full fat Linux distro on a Chromebook for half the price of a Windows machine. I say I'm all for it. Instead of buying a, a Dell XPS for my next computer with Windows 10, I would be more than happy to buy a Chromebook with Ubuntu Mate on it, you know? But those are just my thoughts. While this is updating, let me know in the comments. Do you think it's a good thing that they're putting a, a Linux virtual machine on Chromebooks? Uh, do you think that they'll actually be able to dual boot 
or just straight up boot into a Linux distro in the future? Is this a good thing for Chromebooks? Is it a bad thing? Would it make you switch? There are so many things to talk about here and I would love to hear your questions, comments, concerns on it. Anyway, that's all the time that I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching and remember, when the gears start turning, anything's possible.